Hey guys, it's Ella. Welcome back or to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how you can make money if you can't necessarily have a job and go work places, kind of as like a young teenager. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications to all so you guys can be notified every single time I post. And yeah, let's just get straight on into the video. So there is many steps to earning money as a teenager, a young teenager, and I'm going to show you guys some simple ways and then we'll get into more of business ways how you guys can make money. Making money as like a young teenager is actually like super easy. You really just got to get started with it. So first I'm going to show you guys some easy ways to make money. Ways you don't really have to like ship items out and start a business. One of them is babysitting. Babysitting is a great way to start making money. I know some kids or like young teenagers can't really like babysit because they don't know like people who to babysit, but you can e also easily just like go up to your mom and say like, hey, do you have any kids that I can babysit? Like that. A really good way to also make money is start a bake sale or like just a lemonade stand you can really just like get like a pull out table and just make some lemonade and just sell it up at the park that's such a great way to make money I remember I've done that with my sister once when we were starting a slime company that was like about two and a half years ago and we made quite a like we made a lot of money and it was really easy we just made some cookies and brownies and then we brought it up to the park inside this little red wagon and we started making money now I'm gonna go into the kind of business ways you guys can make money. I have two businesses that I make money off and they're great. First, I'm gonna talk about selling things. Selling things is a great way to make money. Selling things that you don't use anymore, like old shoes, old toys, old skateboards, cause skateboards can like go for a lot of money and just random things around your house that you don't use anymore. Like if you have a big bunch of books that you don't read anymore, you guys can sell those. Now I'm going to teach you guys how you can sell those products and how you can actually make profit. So the little thing I use, I use eBay. And what I sell on eBay, I sell old toys. I have a lot of Monster High dolls that are not being used at all. And they're in perfect condition. And if you don't know, Monster High dolls is not like... A company anymore they went out of business and yeah I've sold Monster High dolls and it's actually going really good I know for one of my dolls I have like 200 views which is really good so you guys are probably wondering how the heck do I sell things on eBay like I don't know how to do it so trust me I didn't know how to do it completely so I'm gonna teach you guys how you guys can sell things on eBay the first step is finding out what you're going to sell it's really simple. I picked Monster High dolls. You guys can pick something else. You guys can sell, I don't know, old guitars. You guys can really sell anything on eBay. So I'm gonna go through every step through packaging, through listing your item, how to make the money, and how to get the money. So I have my phone right here, and I did all of this on my phone, super simple. And I didn't even use a computer or anything. It was really easy. Also, I did this basically without any parents help the only thing my dad helped me with was bringing the packages to the post office which I literally could do by myself and it's really simple so I'm going to screen B screen recording right here and I'm gonna teach you guys how to list things on eBay so the app I use I use the eBay app it's much easier to do it on a phone like the eBay app instead of online so the first thing you want to do is make an account. Making an account is pretty straightforward and it's quite easy. The second step is connecting a PayPal. If you guys don't have a PayPal, you can easily go ask your parents if they can use your PayPal. I'm using my mom's PayPal for the money to when I sell something so they can send their money into my PayPal. Or your parents can create a PayPal for you. So like just go up to your parents and ask, hey, I want to start making a business on eBay. Can I use your PayPal so people can send me the money when you guys get a listing or get a sale? So first you want to create an account on, PayPal, on eBay and it's really easy to create an account. You just type in all your stuff, you type in your name, you type in like your date of birth and stuff like that. And then after that, it will say start a new listing. 
So you're gonna want here, let me screen record real fast. So you're gonna want to go into eBay and this is my little page. So I've sold three things and I made $132.96. And you can see I have two dolls with offers and I also sell paintings, but I don't really, um, I don't I haven't made any offers on my paintings. So this is my home page. It just has a bunch of dolls because like I sell dolls and I just sell a bunch of old dolls and there's like so many of them. So once you have all your stuff hooked up and I'll teach you guys how to hook up your PayPal. I don't wanna like completely show you cause I'm like show my PayPal. But you guys just wanna say list of item and describe your item. So mine is a monster high. Oh. Monster, monster high, doll, not locked, doll. And then you're just gonna say enter, and just say, um, do, 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 do. You could just say anything, like dolls and bears, dolls, clothes, fashion. And then I always don't pick one, I just say create new listing on the bottom of the page. So you wanna create a new listing and it can be new or it might can be used. My dolls are used even though they're in perfect condition so I'm just gonna say used. So then this page will pop up. You can add photos and the trick with eBay, you guys should add 12 photos. You, could, you guys want to add all the photos you want because people love information about the thing that you're selling. So you wanna have as much information about the doll or anything you're selling that you're gonna sell because people want lots of information so you're gonna add your photos by just clicking that plus button and you could just use the camera and it's always good to have a blank like little floor so it's just really easy to see and then you can say item pacifics you could just like add like what it is and blah 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 category description and then pricing okay this is where it gets a little you know this part took a while to like understand so I don't like doing bids. Bids are just like, no, I don't like doing bids. So I'm gonna, if you wanna do a bid, you can start your bid, but I don't wanna do a bid, so I'm gonna click off auction, and then you're gonna say a buy it now price. So, Monster High Dolls, since Monster High Dolls on like Amazon stuff are going for like $30, so it depends on which doll you're selling, cause some dolls will be rarer than others, so I'll just say $15. And then, um, I don't like doing offers, so just I'm just going to say don't allow offers. And then easy pricing, it just lowers your prices as like you don't sell. So I'm just going to say no. I'm just going to keep my price $15, that's what I'm selling it as. Then you're going to say done. Delivery. Delivery is the most confusing part. You need to like know a lot about delivery or else you can end up losing money. So... Basically, a Monster High doll is more like six ounces. If you guys, what you're selling, the more heavy it is, the more higher you need to pit how much the shipping will be because the people are gonna pay for the shipping. So I don't like this ship internationally because they can be very far away and the shipping may be very expensive. So I just like to keep it in the US to keep it simple. And then you're going to go to buyer's pays. No, first you're going to go to package detail. So you're the easiest way for me. You guys can always use a scale, but um, I don't have really a scale. So what I do, I look up online how much does this doll weigh. Like I look up the exact product and then I see how much it weighs. And then I just put all that stuff in there. Package dimensions, trust me, that stuff, it doesn't really matter. Just know, I just do how long the doll is and how width and how high the doll is. Or like if you're selling a skateboard, how long the skateboard is, how wide the skateboard is and stuff like that. And then, so after you put, after you put all the information in, you're gonna say done. And then you're gonna go to buyer pays. So when you change the package details, the buyer pays will go up. So you guys can click that. So you want to make sure buyer pays or if you guys are feeling nice, you guys can say free for buyer and you pay it. But I don't do that. I do the buyer pays the calculated shipping with how heavy the item is. So then after you're all done with that, you're just going to say done and then delivery and then preface it. Preface. Oh no. 
So you can see preferences down below. That's where your PayPal will be. I don't want to really show my PayPal. I don't know if it's safe to show your PayPal. I don't know, but I'm just going to not. So right there, it will say connect a PayPal account if you haven't already. That is where your money is going to be going down. Like right down the bottom of the screen, you can see PayPal preferences and right there you can click on it and you can connect your PayPal account and then you just get the PayPal app and you can just verify it so that's how you guys can get that's how the money will get sent to you it will get sent to you by your PayPal account so then you're gonna say done and then once you're done your listing will be active so I can look at all my actives so let me show you guys all the dolls that I'm selling I'm selling these two dolls and you always want to show the real images. I'd like to show one image of what the doll actually looks like. And then I just have all my other images of the dolls. And I just took pictures. And yeah. So then here, I'm just selling a bunch of random dolls. This one has 92 views. So I have like the picture of the image. And then I have the real doll. And I'm selling this one for $25. And you can see... Here, let me go to this one. You can see that since it's, oh, my dog sneezed. Since it's two dolls, the shipping's going to be $8.25 because it's heavier. See, this one's two dolls, so the shipping's $8.25. And then if you go down to this one, the shipping is $4.60 because it's only one doll. Now I'm going to go into, now I'm going to go into how you guys ship out the item. So you are going to get a notification from eBay that someone has bought your doll. And the money is going to go right into your PayPal account. And you have three days to ship out the doll. So what I like to do, I like to get use like old um, packages that I get from Amazon and just random packages that you have around your house. I've actually built a package right now. I had these pieces of cardboard and I cut them and I turned it into a box with tape. And they got the doll and they loved it and they said their child loved it and I felt so happy. And yeah, you can really find boxes anywhere. At the post office, there are boxes, but that's gonna cost you way more money if you buy the box at the post office. So I like to reuse boxes that you guys can find from Amazon and other places like that. So once your item got like shipped, you're gonna take, you're gonna package up your doll with bubble wrap and make sure you clean the doll. And then you're gonna bring it to the post office and you're just gonna have your once you get the thing you're gonna have all their information in like on an email it's gonna have all their information like their address their pin and stuff like that and then you're just gonna write it with sharpie or something you can write it the thing on the doll and then since you guys got and then oh my god yeah, the money will be sent to your paypal so yeah, you just ship out the doll. The post office can also help you. You just ship out the doll. And then you guys can add a um, tracking number. The post office will give you a tracking number and you can attach it to eBay. Just like write in like this is your tracking number and you can take a picture of the receipt and then that's that. So that's the first way how you guys can sell things on eBay. There is another way you guys can sell things on another website, but I'm gonna get to that a little later. So if you guys have any other questions about eBay, make sure to comment down below. I have sold three dolls. Wait, no, I've sold two dolls. And I've got some new clothes. It was amazing. I loved it. And I got an email from the people that bought the dolls. Said they got it. They said it was amazing. And they said they gave it to their child. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Like, that's like so nice. Like, it like helps people. Like, it's like nice to sell to someone. And they're like playing with it right now as we speak. I don't, probably not right now, but I don't know. So, the next website that you guys can use is Redbubble. I have sold, I've made, I just started Redbubble like two weeks ago and I've made $31. <laughs> Sorry. So, with Redbubble, um, I'm not going to, okay, let me. This is a lot to process while I'm talking to you. This is probably going to be an unedited video. I'm sorry if it's kind of long, but I'm giving you guys a lot of information. So, with Redbubble, Redbubble, you basically just create the product and then Redbubble makes it and they ship it. What I do, I, you basically draw on digital art and then you put it into Redbubble. You add the drawing into Redbubble and Redbubble makes the whole thing. 
So let me just like screen record and like show you everything I bought because it's a it's it's a lot easier to understand. Okay. So you're gonna go to Safari. I, I know. Look at my search history. Can your snake become unblind? Because I was like, what? So I can go to my activity feed just on Redbubble. These are all the things that I bought. Someone bought a dog sticker mask. But anyway, let me just go to my shop. My shop is that, I don't know. So we're gonna go to view shop and let me show you guys my shop. This is my shop. I have 34 designs. I was joined June 2020, literally like two weeks ago. So these is all my stickers, stickers. And I make stickers, I make masks, I make water bottles. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a quick sticker. So basically, you connect your PayPal account, you just go into settings and you can say connect PayPal account and then just do the same steps, kind of like eBay. And then, so uh, Redbubble does everything for you. They ship it, they make it, and they bring it out to the person. So all my things are like 11.66 for a dog sticker mask, purple hearts, that's a set. But first, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a text kind of like that send it one kind of like that yikes one i'm gonna teach you guys how to make stickers so the app that i use i use uh fonto fonto is the best app for me to use that's how i make all my thumbnails and things like that so here like restore previous state you can see this i made how to customize your iphone you guys should go check out that video right here you need to go to plain images and just pick white and just say use and then you're gonna say add text and you can say whatever you want. I'm just gonna say hello. You can pick a font and I think I'm just gonna do that one. And then you can say done. You could go to style, style. you can pick the color, we'll make it pink. I like to add a stroke to it so you can bring the alpha up and bring the width like that. And then I like to bring the size big and then I'm gonna duplicate, oh no, I like to duplicate this. So I can um, change this style to a different one. So I'm gonna change this to a light dark pink actually. So then I can bring this one down and then bring this one, oh, bring this one in front like that. And then it just looks like super cool. This one I'm gonna have no stroke like that so I can like, and then it's gonna look like that. You can just bring the hello a little forward like that and then there you go and the most important part about Redbubble you need to make this image a PNG oh I think that was covering my face the whole time <laughs> you need to make this image a PNG so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that so you're just gonna save this image to your camera roll using that one button down below you're gonna click it and save to your camera roll so save successfully then you're gonna say okay it's an ad then the next app you're gonna use it's called eraser this is another just phone app you guys can use. So you're gonna go to all photos. So I selected my photo and what you wanna do is click the erase button. And you're gonna want to go to target area and then you're just gonna bring it to the white so you guys can exit out all the white. And I like to zoom in and exit out that white too. So now you have your PNG hello sticker. So you're gonna click that button, exit out the ad, and then you're just gonna save, yes, yeah, save to camera roll. Then you're gonna open up Redbubble and you're gonna go to the three lines, go to your profile and you're gonna say add new work. So you're gonna say upload new work. And then first you just gotta create an account on Redbubble and then hook up your PayPal and stuff like that. So you're gonna go to photo library, then you're gonna go to your recents and select the photo that you want. So now that we selected my PNG hello sticker, you can just add a title hello sticker. And then you guys wanna add tags. Tags are the most important thing about Redbubble because tags are how people are going to see your listing. So instead of like doing it all over again, I like to just copy and paste my tags that I have on other posts. Go to me, go to me, go to view shop. Oh wait, no, I went to the wrong thing. I like to go to me, then go to manage portfolio. See, you can see my bunny sticker got 11 sales. My um, purple heart sticker got two sales. My sticker pack got two sales. My clickbait got a heart. 
you know, it's like, it's Stay Jazzy got two sales, a Car the Karen sticker got two sales. So you're gonna go to edit. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this so I don't have to re-enter in all the tags again. So I'm just gonna copy and paste all these tags again. So then I'm gonna paste in all these tags. And I have random tags like Viso, Sticker, Q, Artsy, Viral, Mac, Computer, MacBook, Water Bottle, Hydro Flask, Sec, Pack, Cheap, Cheap Stickers, Cute Stickers, Adorable, Yellow, Rainbow, Girly, Meme, Funny. So just random stuff like that. I don't do the description, I just like, you know. And then you guys get to pick what you want to sell. So I can sell a shirt. I don't want to sell a phone case on this one. Maybe a pillow, maybe a that sticker. And then this is your sticker right here. This is what it's gonna look like. Since it's a PNG, it's just gonna be that. Um, you have postcards. I don't want a mug, I don't want any of that. No, no. You could just say disable, like pick the things that you want. I don't want a water bottle. I don't want a cotton bag. I don't want a pin. And then you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna, just gonna say select all the things right here. So I'm gonna just say digital art and then uh, design and that. And then anyone, I have the right to sell this product. And then you're gonna just say, oh, I wanna scroll to it so you guys can see it. Save work. And then your sticker is uploaded. It is free to the public. People can buy it. And every single 15th of a month, your all the money that you make, it'll go into your PayPal account. So, uh, you need to have a $20 you need to have a $20 mini minimum to go into your account. If you don't have $20, it will just skip the cycle and every 15th, if you get $20, all that money goes into your PayPal account on every 15th of the month. So I just wanna add one thing. Um, Redbubble takes about like 85% of your profit and you can go into settings and change that up. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys that Redbubble takes a lot of the profit because they're the ones that are making it. They're the ones that are shipping it out. So Redbubble takes a lot of your profit that you make on each sticker, on each water bottle, on each bag and stuff like that. So if you like sell a face mask that was $15, Redbubble would take $10 and you'd get $5. So that's how it works. So that is how Redbubble works. Redbubble does all the shipping. They do all the packaging. They make the sticker for you guys. And yeah, it's really simple and easy. And it's such a great way to make money. Cause you, like I made that sticker in like four minutes. I just wrote hello. I erased the background with the eraser app and it was so easy. And I think this is great ways to make money. Babysitting, Red Bull, eBay, and bake sales. That are my four ways to make money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys. I'm sorry if I, I was a little confusing, if I made it seem confusing. But anyway, make sure to give this video a big like and turn on post notifications to all, not personalized. And press that red button down below and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day weekend i hope you guys make some money and yeah bye guys Mwah. goodbye oh my god oh my god i dropped my phone okay bye